WBC welterweight champion, Sugar Ray Leonard. Circling the stand, going left, then going right. Never giving him a stationary target. Backs away from a couple of right hand leads by Hearn. His right hand counter punch just a little bit short by Thomas Hearns. Sort of a slopping jab to settle for the right. Right hand by Hearns misses once more. Leonard Ray taunts him because Hearns is so much taller. Of course, the conversation about Thomas Hearns and the considered opinion is that his right hand is only as good as his left hand, and his left hand is one of the best. Nice job by Troy Ray Leonard. Up Good, that was a counterpunch. Good counterpunch. I think that made Hearns a little mad. He's going after him. Very fast pace early on here in the first round. Remember we talked about the heat. It could become a factor. Round one comes to an end. And Hearns sticks Ray Leonard and Leonard feigns going down after the round is over. Under the 115 mark now going to go in the second round and Hearns is going to Leonard again trying to taunt Hearns and Hearns catches him with the right hand. Leonard has a slight bruise over the left cheek. A slight little abrasion over the left cheek. Left jab scores on the cheek of Thomas Hearns. A little bit of swelling under the left eye as you mentioned Randy on the face of Sugar Ray Leonard. Early throws a good, good right, right hand. hand. Good Sugar right Ray hand. Leonard. It, it looked like it did sting him. Right. Again, that left jab landing on the cheek is a left hand by Ray that backs up Thomas Hearn. To emphasize of the two fighters, of how good they are, and he knows how good Sugar Ray is in moving. Combination that time by Hearns once more scores on Ray against the ropes. There's a shot to the body that time by Thomas Hearns. Leonard shakes it off, but nonetheless, it is right in the belly. Hearns' jab is bothering Leonard. There's no question about it. There's a right hand ahead of Thomas Hearns by Sugar Ray Leonard. That's what Hearns has to do, is counter Sugar Ray Leonard's counter punches. That's it. That was a Another great right punch. hand. Leonard taking slight advantage of his uh, good right hand. Another good right hand. So Leonard picking the pace up now against Hearns. Another good against the ropes. Hearns knows that he better stop smiling and get to work. Leonard is starting to work inside a little bit more now. He fought the first two and a half rounds outside. Right hand by Hearns. Stands Leonard straight up and he backs off. That's what, that's what Angelo meant by knocking down the punch and throwing. And yeah, the round the, three. Oh. Leonard standing straight up and Hearns is leading the Good right hand. Good right hand by Leonard. So Ray Leonard continuing to get the more important blows in the last couple of rounds. Got himself off balance, but comes right back up. Hearns, for some reason, looks like he's slowing down. I don't know if he's trying to consider. Good left to the right hand. Left to the stomach and a right to the head. That was a good counter punch by Sugar Ray Leonard. And again, Ray getting the better of the exchange here. Ducks under that sweeping left hook. Takes a left to the body and a right to the head as Hearns comes back with a combination and Ray retreats. Those are some good punches by both fighters. Swelling under Ray Leonard's left eye it does not seem any worse than it was in the second round. That was on top of the forehead on the left side. It still hurt. Good left hook is partially blocked by Leonard. Five seconds remain in round four. Another good right hand by Hearns. It, it was blocked, it was missed. End of round four, and so far, as you mentioned, it's living up to its billet. They both know what judges like. And towards the end of the round is very crucial in the judge's mind. If you take the last 10 seconds, you can count on that it could probably go your way. So both fighters, they don't like to just come out and start winning. Another thing worth pointing out is third Angelo Dundee between rounds two and three, good right hand by Ray Leonard. Fight has been fought for the large part at long range. Ray again taunts and misses a combination there. Now it's a little showbiz. Well, this is the show business capital here. Both landing jabs. 
Leonard, like I said, a little more leery of Hearns' power, so he has to back off a little bit more when he's talking. Both fighters talking in the corner, not really taking any deep drawing kinds of breaths. Good right hand by Ray Leonard. Co-trainer with Angelo Dundee of Sugar Ray Leonard just trying to make good counter punch to the body. Got no worse in the no. four rounds since it happened. Stay the same. I didn't see him before the fight. It could have been there before the fight. I didn't really pay attention. Ray gets inside, left oh. hand, hurts, 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 back hurts, 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 Ray's corner telling him to stay on him, stay on him. Hearns backs up now, Leonard stalks him. Another left Leonard hand. Hearns is Says still Hearns hurt. reeling backwards. Plenty of time left in the round. 45 seconds left. Combinations once more by Ray Leonard. Hearns' legs are still like jelly. Hearns is definitely hurt, and he's not bringing up that left hand, how he got hit. Ray not wasting any punches, content to take his time here. That's a body shot hurting. That body shot hurt, Hearns. Once more, Leonard stalking him, 20 seconds remaining in the round. Plenty of time, Hearns is against the ropes. And he has definitely had the starch taken out of him here. And Hearns isn't holding on, he's not a good defensive fighter. Right hand misses by Leonard, gives Hearns another moment. He's still hurt though, combinations right above us. Hearns goes reeling back once more. Against the ropes again as we come to the end of round six. So a little bit really off. On his counter punch. right now. Hearns throws the right hand. His left hand comes all the way down when he throws that right hand. Throwing lunging punches right now. Leonard is in close where he has been most effective. In round three. And now is starting to get in on his man just a little bit more. Hearns trying to measure him and stay at arm's length. Ray going back. Good left hook, good uppercut left hook. Once more, Hearns backs Hearns up. Hearns is hurt. Against the ropes and he is hurt. Hearns is hurt. Leonard again pacing himself now. Has plenty of time in this round. Just past the one minute mark. I don't think Hearns is going to weather this off. I really don't. He's going to stay and keep those cobwebs until Leonard either finishes them off or he's just going to lose the decision. Hearns I don't think it's going to go to the, go the distance. Those left hooks to the body right there are hurting. And right now, Thomas Hearns is an open book for Ray Leonard. Backs up against the ropes. And his legs almost buckled on him. He almost didn't get his back. Leonard giving a lot of pounding to Thomas Hearns, who unquestionably is hurt. Hearns' his right hand is down. That's where he's getting hit to worry too much about Hearns' his strength, because he's giving a lot away. That body punch hurt. Hearns. Just about doubled up Thomas Hearns. Leonard having things all his own way now. Hearns is really covering up on those body punches. Trying to hold on as best he can, but Leonard is scoring just about at will, not missing any punches. Very important. Left hand sends Hearns back to the ropes again, and it wasn't a particularly good left hand. Hearns just leaning on him. Leonard trying to find the one punch. Good body shot by Hearns. Good right hand right there, scores and sends Hearns into a neutral corner. And that's because his hands are down. He can't get him up in that corner. you got to have him up. Thomas Hearns looking every part that beat the fighter now. Another right hand drives him back into the ring post. Five seconds remaining now, round seven. Crowd is on its feet here in Vegas. We come to the end of the round. Hearns continuing to backpedal, try to cut the ring off on Sugar Ray Leonard now. So a reverse tactic, as you mentioned, Randy. Looks like Kearns almost slipped there or something. There's a looping right once more that sends Hearns back to the corner. It wasn't very hard, but I think it did bother him a little bit. Hearns laughed it off, but like I said, every little bit hurt. Hearns on his bicycle now, and Ray just walking after him, just waiting. Another right hand. Going after Hearns, who's up on his bicycle now. 20 seconds for me here in the eighth round. That one was a little bit low. from those hard punches. Ray continuing to stalk him with the left hand that might have been Hearns' best punch in a couple of rounds. That was, that was a very good left hook. He had his body in full control of that left hook. So Thomas Hearns started to come back just a little bit here against Ray Leonard. Whether it's a case of two little too late remains to be seen. Right that was Hearns on the glove. That was very obvious. It was very dumb knowing that he had wants to hurt him again. So he jumped in with that left hook. Left hand that time by Thomas Hearns. This has been an effective round for Thomas Hearns so far. 
So far, this round, I give to her. And the round nine. What is standing in there? That took, that was blocked by Sugar. Leonard again just continuing to kind of stalk, and Hearn's continuing now to circle on Ray Leonard, which was Leonard's st strategy in the early rounds. Hearns is looking very fluid, right hand, but it didn't really seem to hurt. Left hand right there by Ray Leonard. Back turns up again as the right hand comes up short. Of Thomas Hearns right now has a mouse under his left eye, and in the corner, as Ray comes out waiting with the right hand. Good job by Hearns. Nice right, right hand. hand right there. To hurt him and then follow up. Right hand again on the side of the head of Ray Leonard. And a left hand of the body. That first right hand wasn't very hard. The second one he loaded up on and missed. And once more, Thomas Hearns with a combination of the pace of Ray Leonard. Not take a backward step from any of those punches. And a left hand snaps the head of Hearns back. And Leonard taking two quick shots. Comes right back with a left hand of his own. that eye with some consistency now. There's a right hand, two right hand, right hand. Right hand. Good job by Leonard, very effective. Hearns just working on that eye of Leonard now. Hearns is just sticking with the left hand. Hearns is consistently finding the eye of Ray Leonard and it is getting consistently worse. A lot of people would say that Leonard was swinging wild, but it's not a good right hand. That pretty much is the story of just how even this fight is right now. It looked as though it's going to be all over for Thomas Hearns. Good right hand by Hearns. Leonard, that hurt Leonard Hearns. Hearns guys has to tie him up or Leonard something. Leonard now is going for the whole boat. Hitting him with combinations. Leonard is good at everything he's got. Hearns starts down, but grabs. And now goes down through the ropes. Leonard heads for the corner. Leonard Hearns says he's not hurt. He was grabbing on to the ropes. But Hearns is shaking his head, coming up. He does The referee said that it wasn't a knockdown. But Hearns is hurt. Is that saying, I'm hurt? See what Ray Leonard has left. This is very important for Thomas Hearns to hold on, which he's trying to do. Under a minute left. Leonard goes Hearn, after him again. Leonard right there was hitting on the break. Leonard has a bad habit of hitting on the break. Only Hearns looks like he weathered the through a little bit and was standing there punching with him. Leonard comes after him again. This is a wild right hand. Hearns on his bicycle once more. A left hand kicks by the cheek. Hearns' his power is left hand. You know, he's throwing those sluggish punches. There's a left hand that loops in, does not really score big, and a right hand does score. He's got to keep his hands up. Comes right in. Hearns leaning on him, definitely in trouble. Ray trying to put his man away. There's Leonard punching left. after him when the referee's breaking him. Leonard's getting tired, though. Another right hand by Leonard. Hearns down between the ropes again, six to one knee. Leonard is sent to the neutral corner. The time has run out in the round here. But Hearns is on his feet. Outstanding round for Ray Leonard. Speed, he does not seem very rubber leg. Leonard rushes out to meet him. A right hand of the body sends Hearns immediately into the ropes. Hearns is still very, very sap from the Fennell's punches. It'll take more than just a minute rest to, to re recuperate him. Leonard wants to put his man away right here. Does not want this fight to go to a decision. Hearns on his bicycle. Leonard stalking him. Hearns scores with a couple of punches. Leonard takes his hand. Leonard continuing to stalk his man. Two minutes remaining. A right hand of that. Hearns on his third sense of really. Hearns is not down yet. A left hand as Ray thought his man was going to go and he didn't and Hearns is still on his feet. Ray taunts him now. Hearns tries to get out of the corner. Cannot do it yet. Now is it long range. A left hand, two left hands against the rope. Hearns is reeling. Leonard is still tired. And Hearns got a lot of guts. At least Hearns' hands are up. Hearns is very weak though. He's Leonard really weak. He's trying, hurting. Trying to go downstairs is Ray Leonard. 
Hearns just trying to hang on here. Left hand sends Hearns back against the ropes again. And that's all. It's over. And Ray Leonard is the undisputed welterweight champion of the world against a very game Thomas Hearns. You cannot say enough about both of these fighters. But I knew fully well that uh, the last few rounds were deciding factors. I gave it all I had. Angelo told you at one point there that you're letting it get away. And the next round you went out and you and you heard him. Were you, what were your th thoughts then? Well, I knew I was behind, but I knew it was close. I just had to pull it out, and uh, it was tough.